In this video I want to show you the neon scribble animation which gets used in a lot of music videos. This animation gets used to highlight some objects such as rings or chains. And now I will show you how you can recreate this effect. First of all drag and drop a clip into your timeline. So my goal is that his chains are shining because of my neon scribble effect. So go with your clip into the fusion page. Now drag and drop a background node from above here into the node field. After that drag and drop a paint node into the node field. Now highlight the paint node and press shift and spacebar at the same time. Search for soft glow. Select this soft glow option and press add. And now try to connect the soft glow with the media in one node. Now a merge node has been created. And then connect the background node with the paint node. Now go to the background node and reduce the alpha from 1 to 0. And now we can see our video again. Now activate the paint node. And before I can start with the neon scribble effect I have to make some adjustments with the paint node. So as you can see the draw line is too big and has the wrong color. So go to the brush controls and change the size to the size of your object. After that decrease the softness to 0.457. Now click into the color field and change the color to the color of your object. And now my draw line looks like this. So this draw line looks way better than the white one but we have to change the glow. So left click the soft glow node. Now increase the gain to approximately 3. In addition to that decrease the glow size a little bit. And now we have to test how the draw line will look like. Ok it's a little bit too big. So again go to the paint node. And decrease the size a little bit. And again test the draw line how it will look like. And this is even looking better and it fits into the chain. So now we can start with the neon scribble animation. By the way I zoom in and out with control and the mouse wheel. Now go to the first frame so you have to see here 0. And then I go to his chain and I start to draw. I also start to draw on the right side of the chain. Now go one frame to the right by pressing the right arrow button. Now the draw line of our first frame is gone. And now try to draw a little bit under the first draw line. Now again go one frame to the right by pressing the right arrow button. And I draw some parts of the chain under the second draw line. And now you only have to repeat this procedure till the end. And if you are not sure if it looks good you can also go backwards with the left arrow button. And then you can check if you have forgotten something to draw. And now you can see here a short time lapse of my process. So my goal was that the two draw lines connect in the middle of the chain. And after that the two draw lines go connected down to the other chain. So my animation is now finished in frame 16. Yeah and that's how the neon scribble effect works but we can improve this effect by adding light rays. So left click soft glow and press shift and spacebar at the same time. Now search for light rays. Then select light rays and press add. And as you can see the neon scribble effect gets shiny. And with this note you can play around with the length, soften and brightness slider. And I forgot something to say. If you are unsatisfied with your draw line in one frame then you can go to the apply controls and click on the eraser. And with the eraser you can delete some parts of the draw line by pressing left click. That's everything I hope this tutorial has helped you. If so then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Thanks for your attention, stay creative and bye.